How's it going everybody? It's your favorite console player, Gruik here. If you've been keeping up with the Discord, I'm currently getting a new CPU fan because my current one is dog shit, so I haven't been playing the game recently. And because of that, I've decided to make a video on one of my favorite POIs in the game, Crash Site. I know that KC is one of the community's least favorite maps, including mine, so I wanted to maybe reignite some passion to learn the map for you guys, especially since the new map rotation reveals that we're going to be playing this map for a while. Per usual, we're going to start with the hot drop strat. Similar to other POIs I've covered before, Crash Site also has an out of bounds strat that saves a lot of time on hot drops. If the dropship goes anywhere above or near the large shipwreck, you can use this oop slide to land on the right side height. It really depends on the angle, but you're usually going to get about a 3-5 to five second time save with this trick giving you access to the floor loot and bin loot off the backside before everybody else. Depending on how many people land there, you usually get at least one free kill and have time to prepare for the players on the other side. Next, let's talk about some of the important gameplay tricks I've learned here. First, here's a wallbound spot that I've been using for over two years now and is actually the topic of one of my very first videos I ever made on the channel. In that video, I stated that the wall bounce is not useful without a speed ability, but just from playing the game a lot, it's been quite the opposite. If there's players in the middle area, this flank gives you full cover and an element of surprise. So how do we do it? Well, it's actually really simple and doesn't even require tap strafing. As you're running towards the blue wall on the left, get a slide jump as far as possible and wall bounce off the wall. You don't even need to get the height from the wall bounce. After you hit the wall bounce, you need to reattach to the wall and climb the wall diagonally for a bit. If you're on keyboard and mouse, hold inputs W and D, and if you're on controller, hold your left stick up and to the right. Then aim in between this green line and avoid the outer area. If you land anywhere outside the green line, you'll start falling. Thankfully, the area you can stand on is quite large, so the room for error is also. Unfortunately, unlike this wall bounce, going from the left platform to the middle or from the middle to the left is so hard that it's simply just not worth it. You can make it across with a super glide here, but only if you have a speed ability. Anyways, if you don't want to use these flanks, here's an alternate strategy you can use at the top platforms. Because of the ship's weird physics and collision, there's a lot of invisible hitboxes you can use. For example, you can stand freely at the top of the walls here and use them to get some pretty nice angles. What a lot of the walls at the top platforms also have are hidden platforms on the outsides. These have a lot of uses like healing, baiting a drop, and straight up just confusing your opponents. All three platforms have these spots on the outside and I'll try my best to highlight where all of them are. On the right platform, the entire backside is playable and a little bit of the corners. On the middle platform, only the front side and the little spots we talked about earlier are playable. On the left platform, the entire backside is playable and a little bit of this edge on the right side. I'd highly recommend memorizing these spots and using them because it's way better than just dropping all the way to low ground. Anyways, what I like about all these gameplay tricks is that they flow very well together. How I usually go about my hot drops here is using the oob trick and then combining it with the other ones. Now that I've covered all the most important gameplay tricks, I'm going to show some other semi-useful stuff to close out the video. 